the phone rings. How would you like to be Seitel in the film Fiddler on the Roof? And I put it down and screamed like, ah! All right, all right, hold it there. Arthur Cram looked at me and he says, what would you say if we were to say, we want you to direct Fiddler on the Roof? And then I said, what would you say if I told you I'm a goy? Taking a play and bringing it out into the real world, it's always a challenge for a director. Bringing Fiddler to the big screen was certainly one of my great challenges. Jewison is one of the few directors who understood that. He had a fantastic sense of rhythm musically. John Williams managed to harness my singing and almost make the verse that I do with the shawl kind of ballad-like. Matchmaker, matchmaker, I'll bring the fame. It's not just about a dairyman with five marriageable daughters. It's more than that. There's something else that gives these shows their power. I found it was quite possible for me to identify with uh, Tevye and to identify with the Jewish religion. Over one billion people saw the film, so they couldn't all be Jewish. Getting to know the actresses who played my sisters brought us close together, which gives you the sense of family. The girls were my family. They were my sisters. Doing the wedding scene, Ross was just following through an instinct to give me a hug. Even in a musical comedy like Fiddler on the Roof, you still feel the pain. And I think that's, you know, that's the heart of the thing. We want a film for everybody. And what is it about the fiddler and the fiddle that we can't let go of? It's, it's the closest thing to a human voice that there is. That's a fiddle. That's worth the price of a ticket.